Hello, and welcome to this Blender 2.6 tutorial. My name is Ben Morgan, and in this tutorial, I can teach you guys the basics of how to rig a car wheel in Blender. And if you've ever tried something like a rolling object, say, I want this cube to move, and there are going to be wheels on the side of it that are rolling with it. And if you've ever tried to animate that by hand, like I once tried, it it's killer. It's almost impossible to get it looking realistic. Luckily, there is a really cool feature in Blender. I'm, I mean, it's been here for a long time, but, um, and they're called drivers. And what drivers do is translate the location or scaling or um, rotation of one object into um, a translation to another object. So really, what that means is I can move this cube on the x-axis and say a cylinder on the side of it could rotate on its y-axis when this is moving on its x-axis. And I can move it slowly and it'll rotate slowly. It, translate perfect. it translates perfectly and it's just what you need if you're trying to do so something simple like um, making a car wheel uh, rotate. So let's just get started on how to do that. So we're gonna delete our cube and we're gonna add in Shift A, add mesh, cylinder. And make there be, I don't know, eight vertices. Uh, we don't want a lot, simply because we want to actually be able to see the rotation uh, better uh, with the final result. Next, um, we're gonna rotate this on the x-axis, 90 degrees, our x 90, and grab on the z-axis, one, holding down control, and S, Y, about there. Cool. Next, we're going to add in the controller object for this wheel. So Shift A, add uh, cube. Okay. And first thing we're going to do is on the object panel right here, we're going to make the display type wire. Okay. Just so that we can see the uh, sphere underneath or the um, cylinder underneath. Grab it on the z-axis. Hold down Control and click. And that's good. Okay. And uh, so basically all you have to do is select your cylinder, press N, and go right here to the transform attributes and go to the one which you want to affect. So obviously you could do for any of these, but you uh, for this one, we want it to rotate on the Y axis like that. So you can see here the Y rotation value. If we right click it, and do add single driver, it'll turn purple like that. So now if we split the screen and we go into our graph editor and change it from F curve editor to drivers and click on our uh, Y Euler rotation we have right there, click on it, press N to bring up this panel. You see we have our driver properties. Now I'm not sure what all these values do, but so far, what I do know is that average value, and if we do the transform channel and make the controller object, which is really what this is, cube, and the type is X location in world space, we don't really need this, this modifier, so we can delete that. Now, if we move our cube, our sphere, or <laughs> I keep calling it a sphere, our cylinder rotates perfectly in response. So that is how you would do that. You could do this for, uh, say, the uh, Z scale of the cube. You could make it so that when I scale it, it goes like that. Um, you can do all that. So that's really cool. Um, and not, uh, not the Y rotate, the X locate. Okay, so that's basically how you do that. So if we do Alt G and grab it on the Z axis again, and we select our, cylin our <laughs> cylinder Shift select our cube, control P, keep transform. <clears throat> um, it will now move with our cube as it rolls perfectly. And if we press seven and we duplicate this, shift D, um, select them both, shift D. You can imagine that if these were, you know, highly detailed uh, wheel models and we had a car model too, um, you know, we could do some pretty cool animations with this and it would be very, very simple. 
Now, obviously, this is just the rolling rig. Um, that's the basics of how to do that. Um, if you want to do something like um, suspension or shocks or um, something like that where it sticks to the ground or, or bounces, that's a lot more complicated, and I don't really know how to do that. But this is the basic way that you would go and um, use drivers to um, do that. So that's the, basis of, that's the basics of that. And drivers are really cool, not only because they can be you know used to do the location of things, they can also be used on things like shape keys, um, really any, anything. So what you can do with drivers, a little preview to a, an upcoming tutorial, you can have shape keys and you can make it so that little objects that you move will uh, move the shape keys on, say, a character's face. So you can, do, um, you can make what's called a driver map, which looks a little bit, a little bit like this. Um, I don't know if it's called that actually, but I just you know named it that. Um, and you can have all the um, all the um, visims they're called for all the vowel shapes that a character will create. And you can have little you know cubes or something that you can move up and down. And when they do that, it switches between the different shape keys. And that's something that professionals use. And you can do that in Blender. And I just think that's awesome that you can do that. And um, yeah, it's really really easy. So. Anyways, that's just a little preview of an upcoming thing I'm going to do. So, um, thank you for this, uh, or thank you for watching this tutorial. I um, hope you learned something. Drivers are a really cool thing, and I really recommend that you, um, you know, uh, mess around with them. Maybe even check out the Python coding for them. Um, so, yeah, thank you for watching, and please subscribe.